Thank you for taking the time to go through our application process. The following information will help you work through each area of the application and is designed to help clarify specific questions on the form. Please feel free to also contact our office directly with any additional questions or clarifications you may need after following the instructions completely. To begin the application, indicate which project you would like to live in. Also indicate what other accommodations you need, such as number of bedrooms. You will need to provide your current contact information, including your home and work phone numbers, current address, as well as your email address. Please list the names of everyone that will be living in the unit. Include their name, date of birth, sex, relation to the head of the household, social security number, and whether or not they are full-time students. In addition, please list any former names used by the adult household members. Now you are ready to begin responding to the rental application. Please read each question and answer yes or no. If the response is yes, please add any clarifying information. If the response is no, proceed to the next question. Questions 4 and 5 relate to anyone 18 or over who is currently attending or planning to attend school in the next 12 months. Next, we need your residential history. Please list every location you have lived during the past two years. Please be sure to include the address and property name if applicable. As we move on to page three, we look at your income. We have presented an extensive list of potential income sources. Please fill this out as completely as possible. If an income source does not apply to you, simply mark that with a no. If you know the monthly total you earn from an income source, please include that. If you indicate how much you earn on an hourly basis, please also indicate how many hours you work per week. On page four, we take a look at your assets. Like income sources, assets could come in many forms. If you have a checking account or savings account, indicate this here and list the approximate cash value of those accounts. Also indicate which financial institution those accounts are held with. Other assets might include a life insurance policy or other property you own. If you own things which you intend to sell for income, include this too. Page 5 gives us a look at your employment history. We need to verify the current employment for every household member. We also need to know about any job changes you've had in the past 12 months. After covering your employment status, fill in the employment status of any other adults that will be living in the unit. Adults are considered to be 18 years of age or older. Also include employment status of individuals who are emancipated. Emancipated individuals could be under the age of 18. The next section covers a variety of general topics. Please list credit references. References do not need to be limited to credit card issuers. A utility provider or cell phone provider would qualify as a credit reference. Please indicate the custody status of your children. If there is split custody of your children, we need to know if they will be with you for 50% of the time or more. If they will only be living with you for occasional or weekend visits, that would not be counted as someone who would be living in the unit. Next, we move from page 5 to page 6. Please answer the questions concerning Section 8 rental assistance, citizenship status, and special needs you might have. Also provide an emergency contact in case something should happen and we are unable to reach you. 
Finally, on page 7, sign the application indicating you have filled out the form truthfully to the best of your knowledge. If you have been assisted in any way in filling out this application, please indicate that as well and the reason for the assistance. You've now completed the application. We thank you for your interest in our property. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to call us at 800-378-9366. Thank you.